All right, guys, so John with hookajohn.com here. I have my friend uh, George here. We refer to him as Industry George. Some of you guys will recognize him. Um, he came by for a little visit today, and so I want to talk to you about a couple of things. Uh, what I'm not going to talk about too much, but I wanted to bring up briefly this new D hose, the uh, aluminum tip D hose. Got a nice wide bore uh, mouth tip, and I usually don't like these thin hoses, but um, because of the wide gauge all the way through, I like it, so I'll do a video on that later. Um, so he, George walks in. I was showing him the uh, hookah flavor saver, okay, and in my last video when I was showing everyone, I discussed uh, this would be good for Zach Lul by Nakla, maybe, but I don't smoke it, I don't know, so we're going to try it out, and George said, yeah, even some of the old guys yeah. would put their t their coals right onto Nakla. Double apple, Nakla, yeah, it's very common in Iran. Yeah, so we're going to try this out and see if it actually works, because some of you guys had this question. Let's see if we should put that there. So I'll go ahead and apply some coals and let it heat up. This might take a while. So the background on this type of tobacco, it's something that I really don't smoke. Um, it's probably the type of tobacco that was out before flavored tobacco as we know it, right? Yeah, Zaglu was originally introduced by the Il Bugatti in 1919. So it's one of the original flavors before Double Apple, which came later in the 80s. So uh, definitely it has inspired plenty of uh, molasses based tobaccos such as Tangiers, etc. Or Ed or Soft Black. Yeah, it's different than all of them, but um, the point that they used to do, they wouldn't use foil, right? They just Yeah, there was, there was no foil back then, so they would put the coals directly on it. Uh, especially double apple, they'd make a little like conular shape or like a volcano and then they'd press the coals around the sides. The first five minutes would start tasting like uh, burnt tire smoke, but after it build a little crust on it, then it'd start burning really sweet and get the flavors to come through. Um, definitely, sometimes when you see people smoking Ajami or Jurak or any of those traditional style flavors, coals go directly on top. Or when you're in Egypt, they're putting other things in there and just throwing the coals directly on top, and it just is really gross. Right. Well, uh, because of the difference between the Nakla. Uh, um, Two apples one, it's smoking a lot because it's really hitting whatever's, what would it be the, hitting, what's burning the, right the now? The light, I, I'm assuming that the lighter, lighter flavorings in there, which aren't as heavy as the molasses, are going to burn off quicker, they're going to vaporize a lot quick, much, much quicker. So with extra glycerin, extra light flavorings, uh, especially as an anise based flavoring, will come through really quickly. Yeah, so that's smoking pretty bad. Mine is hardly smoking. It's not smoking at first all. First hit. See that? First hit. First hit that I got. Um, Anthony, you want to get us some mouth tips, please? Um, we had... Okay, so I didn't get any smoke from my first draw on this, but I did get that. This is flavor. amazing. Uh, I was smoking not the double apple last night at my house, and uh, it's not even smoking as good as this. I'm actually really stoked on this. Yeah. Um, we'll trade off. I'll take this out just so I can show the flavor saver in case you didn't see it. It's just this uh, wound coil thing. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, this wound uh, coil of stainless steel, and um, we put it directly over the foil. Just to put a gap between your foil and your coals so that there's a less chance of burning. Some people don't burn. Some people have problems burning. It's a cheap $8 device. It works just fine. Um, do you need it? No. Uh, but would you like it? Yes. Um, I use it quite a bit now and it's fun. So back to this and try and see if this will work. Um, it looks like the two apples is really smoking, which is not... It's not even harsh. It's pretty smooth still and it's ripping really well. If you don't, if you don't mind, you know, flooding your house with this kind of smell, I'm digging it. And with that little, George, I haven't smoked too much of it in the past. You're not supposed to get a ton of smoke. It's more about the flavor. Um, you can, but it's not going to burn because the amount of glycerin that the other flavors have, you're going to get that nice white smoke, whereas with a Zaglul, you're not going to get the same clouds out of it like you will this. Yeah, and this probably takes some practice if you're really into it, because we, we just put it in there, tried to keep a little bit of airflow, not much, because there's no foil to really seal it in, so yeah. heat's probably going all And it's the been like 12 years since I've tried smoking tefatin without the foil, so... My friends at the Persian grocery stores, we used to smoke like that out front. Here's that we can trade. This is kind of, it's very flavorful. It's not my type of smoke, but there are a lot of people that buy Zabu and smoke Zabu. 
maybe it just needs a little time. So now we're switching. I'm going to the knuckle two apples. And give it a shot. It looks like it gets more smoke. Could be the way we uh, packed it. Because um, you're just smoking a lot better. This is a, there's a lot of airflow going through here. Do you think we could possibly be missing a ball bearing? I think that the check might be missing in this. Okay. Yeah. Is it? By the way, this is almost. Uh, yeah. It's missing. Exactly. Anthony, can we get? Is it stuck in there? It's way up there. Okay, so this that's is way too small. You need better ball bearings. Ball bearings. Uh huh. So uh, I could hear it and I could feel it in the draw. Yeah, George actually has a lot more experience than I do as far as being in the industry for many years. He's one of the guys that uh, showed me the way and uh, helped me out quite a bit. So I appreciate that, George. <laughs> it's my boy. <laughs> He's related to somebody that I care about, so we took care of him yeah. back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Big up, Tony. I actually put Tony into a video when we were out at IPCPR. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one of the last videos I did. He's actually showed the new L-Factor Fugus and the new line they're coming out with. Yeah, the little glass ones. The new, the new packaging. Uh, the L-Factor Solid. Not yeah, but they're not made in Syria. No. They look almost Chinese, but they're at least dedicated to one. I think they're Indian. What do you think? I don't know. Rom they say Romanian or something like that. I don't know. I don't believe it. I'll believe it when I see I see the manufacturing warehouse in the country that you're in. Yeah. So for the Nukla, uh, the Nukla uh, two apples, it's a little hot for me now. Maybe less coals, because it's just exposed right on the back of there. Unless you like smoking strong. Right. Like one of my accounts in Vegas, he puts like four coconars onto, well, he has titanium now, so puts four titaniums on top of his cane mint in a small bowl. And I'm like, how can you smoke that, man? It's ridiculous. Titaniums? All right. Okay. Little plug. How's that smoking now, George? It's the flavors coming through. I get a taste of molasses. Uh, just like John's, not my cup of tea. I would not be smoking Zagul on my own without just flavorless tobacco. Well, the two apples is smoking as if I have foil on it. Which, uh, I don't know, foil replacer, who knows. You guys are gonna have to play with the way you wanna pack it to make this work just mm -hmm. right too. But the flavor saver seems to be at least spacing it good because I don't want to put coal straight on that. This tastes like an old company called El Bez. It's, it's like not something you get outside of Egypt. It's nothing you, you want to go out and try to find. It's nothing to write home about, but it tastes just like that. It feels like you're in Hussein or Gemalia smoking traditional tobacco or Cleopatra's brand. It's got that molasses, almost raisin flavor or prune flavor, right? Yeah, definitely prune. If you got enough sweetness, you can make a Dr. Pepper flavor. Try it again. <laughs> <laughs> and it may help with constipation too. <laughs> Give it to the grandma. <laughs> That's a rough smoke. This is smooth. This is so nice. But now that it's smoking a little bit, maybe we could take a coal away. Because mm -hmm. those guys, I've noticed them, they put very little coal. For those of you that do smoke that little, you put a little bit of coal, huh? Or maybe I think of Hajimit, the dry stuff. Uh, you, the dry stuff, or if you wet the dry stuff, when you get Ajimi or Tumbek, you know, like you rinse it a couple times, and then you put the coals directly on top of it, too. They don't put too much coal. Uh-uh, no. A, a little piece of bulk coal, like a tiny piece, that would be probably the equivalent of a half of a coconut coal, or less even. Yeah. Back before coconut coals, they couldn't use the, the insulite, the little hockey puck ones. Those would never work out right. They would go out on the wet tobacco. So they'd have to use lemon wood coals, orange wood coals, just natural stuff. Yeah, this is a little harsh. This is perfect. Yeah. The double apple works great with this. Now, I wonder if it would work with tradition, uh, modern type stuff. Could. I mean, something like Fumari might be too wet. You probably just get a lot of boil over because the juices just fester up and start dripping down the sides. Right. You know, you'd probably have to like wet it like 
put it in a paper towel to get some of the moisture out before you did it. Yeah, and I'm not trying to change anything here. Use foil, poke holes. This might just be a way to play around and try something different. I was smoking on this when I first walked in on this pipe here and the foil and the coals worked out great. Yeah, so we should, um, I think that's it for now. If we have any, we'll smoke this for another 20 minutes, half an hour. If there's anything that we want to talk about, we'll come back. If not, that's it. I'll see you. Peace. See you guys. Thank you.